Hello guys, welcome to another episode of our AutoCAD MEP tutorial series. After you've trimmed all the grid lines in the entire project, you can just delete the section box or the rectangular box you created. Delete. The next thing is to get rid of some stuff you don't require in an MEP project such as all these window schedules designed by the architect, these door schedules, and most especially, these are our walls. These are our walls. You observe there is some grids that pass through the walls. We don't require all these in an MEP project. So you just start to delete all these window schedules, door schedules, moreover, all these arches. You need to delete it too. We don't need it. Had it been the project is in layers or done in Revit and then converted to AutoCAD, it should have been easier by using the select similar button. Select similar. But you observe that other stores in our project will also follow. Despite I'm trying to delete only this window schedule, because this is because the actor doesn't work in layers. So because of this, you have to perform the operation individually. So after then, you need to create your own design styles. This is necessary because there are some operations that you don't need to be repeating. So this includes the dimension styles like this. Probably the annotation, like this annotation, if you are contented with it, and the grid lines, these grid lines, you need to set it based on your own preference. For the dimension style, you just need to come to the annotate here, under dimension, dimension panel, you come here, and you could click through. So you come to the modify. The first, the first panel here is the line. Which color do you prefer for the line? If probably I prefer this color or this, the line type, if probably you prefer it, line width 0.0, .0 that means it's a thin line. For the symbol and arrow, if you prefer this architectural tick, I mean this tick that used to come out, you can change it, you can change it to dots, etc second tick so you can also play with this but my main concern is the text style here so our text is using simplex but for me i prefer stylus i prefer stylus or stylus bt the text color if you probably is using color 12 you can select your own color so Color in AutoCAD, as I said in our AutoCAD tutorial, we have three colors. We have the index, the true, and the color book. But the one I will always recommend is the index color because you will be able to give your color a specific number. So the actor is using color 12. Should we go with it? Let me choose color 60. Okay. The feet. Under the feet, always keep text between line and extension. This one is preferable. The primary unit is decimal and the precision is zero, which is the best. Alternate unit, tolerance, etc. So I've set my own dimension style. You set set current and close. So you want to create your own another dimension line now. You observe the dimension has come up. You can even change the height of this dimension. So let's repeat the operation. Dimension here. Dimension manage dimension styles modify. So under the text, the text height is 200, but it's too big for me. But I would rather prefer 150 or 127. So 
and the text alignment iso standard i provide this iso standard set current again and close so you want to create a home to home dimension linear dimension so here is the dimension style another thing is the annotation style the annotation style this is the annotation the architect is using which i earlier said that is Prevalible to be just be using the copy and paste for this annotation. And if probably want to change it, you just come through this annotation through this text panel and edit any and choose the style you prefer. And the last one is the grid lines. Probably we don't prefer this color of your grid lines. For me, I didn't pre I didn't like it at all. So let's just change this color. You select everything like this. through this color section more color and let's use color 60 to make this our design easier you just click any of these lines and press ma which is match property match property ma and you start to draw through all the all all other grid lines 